So Seed Center is a fully open source, uh, it's really a software project that lets people build with off the shelf parts and commodity hardware, a uh, hardware wallet, but it's a unique hardware wallet. Our differentiator is that it does not remember your private keys. So in computer science terms, it's called a stateless device. So every time you power it on, you need to enter your private keys. So it encourages people to be more hands-on with managing their private keys. But the upside is that you can use it to actually manage multiple wallets and multiple private keys. So it's no longer like one key, one hardware wallet. Um, but all open source, uh, yeah. Wow, so how would you, how were you able to achieve uh, the stateless wallet? That was, so my background is in digital forensics and it was uh, technologically kind of an outgrowth of some techniques that we use in the digital forensics world. Um, we use, just to break it down, a very specific version of the Raspberry Pi Zero. So most people are probably familiar with Raspberry Pis from building nodes. Uh, we use a little bit smaller version, still made by the same manufacturer called a Raspberry Pi Zero. And we specifically use a Zero version 1.3. What the 1.3 means is that it does not have any wireless uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth uh, hardware built into it. So it's naturally a very isolated kind of like little air gapped computer. And then um, how we manage keys is that uh, the current incarnation of Seed Center is really just Python code that runs on top of a stock Raspberry Pi uh, operating system. But when keys are inputted into the device, we only maintain those as Python variables in memory. We take extra steps to make sure that uh, the key data is not cached to the memory card that's running the, uh, the device. So the keys are just in memory. And when you remove power from the device, like you shut it down and pull the power, that's the nature of computer RAM is that it only holds data or holds state as long as there's power supplied. So when you remove power, the data just goes away. And that's how we uh, wow, are that's able so to be cool. stable. That is really cool. So you plug, you plug it in, you put a private key in there. Correct. You work with it. And when you're done, you unplug it, private key, everything is erased. Poof, it doesn't it doesn't remember anything about what transactions you've engaged in or what private keys you've used. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of the design.